The most embarrassing thing just happened to me. I just had my first PT session and by first, I mean the first one I've ever done in my life. And I basically passed out and then threw up. Honestly, guys, it wasn't even hard. That's what's so embarrassing. We hadn't even done a lot. I'd done like 500 meters on the rowing machine. Then we'd moved on to some body weight exercises. Then we moved on to some weights and all of a sudden I felt so lightheaded and I just felt like I was gonna pass out. I was really trying to like play it down and pretend that I was fine. But the lovely girl who was training me could just tell. Like I think the color had just drained from my face. And then I spent the rest of my PT session basically wrapped around the toilet. I'd like to say I'm not actually that unfit. I mean, I'm not the fittest I've ever been in my life, but I'm also not that unfit. But I just think my blood sugar levels were really low. And I don't know what came over me, to be honest. I now feel so embarrassed and like I never want to go back. But I need to go back because I'm going away this summer and we're the end of March and I need to sort my life out. My head was like this in the gym, guys. Let's go get in the shower. I am ready. My hair is washed and blow dried. My makeup is done in a record amount of time today. I didn't actually do my makeup with you or my hair because I had a comment on, I think it was my last vlog. It wasn't a nasty comment. It was almost like constructive criticism saying that it's boring that I always get ready with you in every vlog. And the reason I do it is because I actually like getting ready with you. Like I like talking whilst I'm doing my makeup, but I will take it on board because a lot of people liked the comment, which means a lot of people must feel that way. So I'm going to take it on board and I won't get ready in every single vlog. I'll do it like once a month instead. Also my roots, how dark do they look? I'm trying not to bleach my hair as much, but let's give it another two weeks I'm gonna be in the hairdresser. So I just wanted to, to get like a little bit healthier and thicker. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is my hair with no extensions in, by the way guys, this is just my natural hair and I am happy with it. I'd like it to be a little bit longer, but it's my own fault for cutting it off like two months ago, but I'm just trying to grow it and get it really healthy. So I'm trying to stop with the bleaching but the roots, they're not really giving. By the way, I also changed up my ear stack. Do you like it? Very unsure as to why my ear is so red, but all of my earrings are from Missouri. I often wear an earring stack, which is all from them. I actually placed an order with them this week and I have a few diamond rings to show you as well as these earrings, like I'll show you everything properly. But first of all, I wanna give you a little update on the house. I mean, there's not much to update you on, but I'm just gonna give you a tiny update. Okay, so plan number one with the house. You might remember in the last vlog, this room was covered in boxes. Still a lot of crap on the floor, as you can see, didn't tidy up for the occasion, but I am getting there. Like, things are getting a little bit tidier. This was covered in boxes, but I've made a real big dent. But this room is currently pink, as you can see, and I'm gonna have it painted white. This is gonna be the guest bedroom. I'll actually insert some photos of guest bedroom ideas and the bed that I'm thinking of getting. But as you can see, this room at the moment, it is quite a nice size, but it's not huge. However, when the extension is done, I have already shown you this, but I'll just show you again in case you didn't see. Wait for the light to come on. It's a bit spooky in here. But as you can see, there is just over a two meter gap here, can you see? And this is currently almost like a cupboard, but to be honest, it's just a wasted space. May or may not have chucked some boxes in here, but we will just ignore that. But basically this wall, is gonna be knocked out. This wall here is gonna be pushed flat up and then the room is gonna become as big as this space. Well, this is gonna be plus the rest of the room. Does this make sense? So the room is gonna be a lot bigger than it is right now, but all of these things take time. So in the meantime, I'm going to have these walls painted white. And then this is the room downstairs that is going to be painted as well. So this is currently the dining room. I know I said I wasn't gonna do anything to this, but it is gonna get painted. Obviously eventually this wall is gonna get smashed through, but for now it's all gonna be white. And the reason for that is just so it gives me some space down here that I can work in. Like it's such an empty wasted space right now and it's gonna be like this for a little while. So it may as well, try and kind of make the most of it as it is, you know? So Reese has taped all this room up yesterday and I'm hoping it's gonna start getting painted today. As you can see, all the walls have been kind of filled in where there were um, hooks and things. And many of you are probably wondering why I'm even bothering to do the work, given the fact that I've said I'm gonna smash this house to pieces. But I mentioned this in my last vlog, 
and I'm gonna say it again, I totally underestimated the amount of time it would take for planning permission to get approved to do the work. I honestly thought that I would have the house finished by August and be having like parties in the garden, but it looks like I won't actually be able to start the work until September, which is wild. So in the meantime, I'm just trying to make the house feel a little bit more livable. I mean, it's livable like this, don't get me wrong, but just, you know, if I freshen up the spaces that I've got, it will just feel nice and then the guest bedroom will be all lovely so people can come and stay. I've got a place I can work downstairs and you know in due course the rest of it will all get done. I'm not going to spend a lot of money like paint is as far as we're going. So that's the update on that. I have to say I'm itching to buy things like furniture and stuff. I thought I was going to be buying it like so much sooner than it looks like I am but in the meantime I'm just still buying clothes. <laughs> I have a big haul to do with you all. I went to Massimo Duty and I have some gorgeous bits to show you from Missouri. So as many of you know, Missouri is a jewelry brand, which I adore. I wear so many of their pieces every single day. I mean, I've already shown you my earring stack, which the first two earrings are new, but the last two are the small diamond studs. I wear these every single day. Like I never take them out of my ears. They're so comfortable. They don't tarnish because they're real gold. And of course they're real diamonds, but they don't just do yellow gold. I mean, I mainly wear yellow gold because I'm a yellow gold girly, but they do sterling silver, white gold, gold vermeil, precious gemstones, as well as diamonds, pearls, and they just do it so, so well. I am like the biggest jewelry lover in the world. Like there is no secret with that one. I've said it so many times, but if I don't have my rings on, my earrings on, like I don't feel fully dressed, you know? They just, they just finish every look. So let's do a quick up close and personal run through of my ear stack. As I've already said, the top two holes are the small diamond studs. I've honestly had these years. I wear them every single day. They're super comfortable and I love them. Very simple and classy. Then in my next person, I have a new pair of hoops, which I am in love with. These come in two different sizes. Mine are the small size, but they also come in a huggy size as well. These like the studs are also 14k solid gold and the diamonds in them are lab grown which have the same physical and chemical properties as a natural diamond but are more sustainable. And then in my first holes I have the tennis earrings. These are also of course 14k solid gold with lab grown diamonds. I am so in love with the way these look with the hoops. I think they look so great together. They are so incredibly comfortable even though they're like a bigger earring than I usually wear they don't feel heavy at all in fact they don't feel like I have anything in my ears they sparkle so beautifully and I feel like they just look so chic I also feel like they would be perfect for a dressy occasion like imagine if you had your hair up and then you wore these earrings I just feel like they look perfect and as I said I have two new rings to add to the ever-growing jewelry collection this is the bezel zigzag ring what I also really love about this design is I feel like it's really unique and it's a little bit different to things you see every day, you know? I feel like sometimes in a social media day and age, we can kind of get stuck or wearing the same stuff, you know? So I feel like it's nice to kind of wear things that are a little bit different. So I absolutely love this ring. And last, but by no means least, this is the diamond cluster ring. Let me tell you, this is so sparkly and beautiful in real life. And this has been on my jewelry wish list for such a long time. I am totally in love with this ring. It is so, so beautiful. And as you can see, it's a cluster of diamonds. But the diamonds on the cluster ring are natural diamonds, but they're Kimberly process compliant, which means they're ethically sourced. I have actually lots more Missouri diamond jewelry from the diamond necklaces that I often wear. I have lots of different earrings from them and so many different rings, which I wear on an everyday basis. And another thing I love so much about Missouri is often when you think about diamonds, you think of crazy prices, but Missouri's prices are so reasonable. The quality of their pieces are 10 out of 10. And I have something very exciting to tell you all that during this week, Missouri have 15% off their diamond pieces. So if that isn't an excuse to treat yourself or a loved one, then I don't know what is. Of course, I will link all of my favorite pieces down below so you can easily go and shop them all from there. And trust me, I'm gonna be doing a little bit more shopping on there myself because 15% off is huge. And I've seen this ring, which I'm gonna insert a photo of it up here, that has honestly been playing on my mind a lot. I feel like it would look really cute on my pinky finger and I feel like I need to get it and the 15% off is making me feel like it's a great time to buy it. Now let's move on to some clothes and let me tell you that these two bags are very heavy. I'm just gonna get everything out of these bags. Put it on the bed. I can't even remember what some of this stuff is. Like truthfully, I bought it 
Well, some of it last week and some of it about three weeks ago. And I haven't tried barely any of it on. Oh my God, I went crazy. Wow. I have to say there's a lot, a lot of creams and neutrals here. I actually got this jacket, which I love so much. I've creased it a little bit by leaving it in the bag, but I'm sure it'll be fine once it's on. But look at this suede jacket I got from Massimo Duty. It's so nice, guys. It feels incredible. Let me do like a proper try and haul. I'm gonna move you to over here and um, let's, let's do a proper try on. I'm just gonna put this belt on really quick because I feel like the outfit needs a belt. I'd like to wear this, I think, with my Celine Ava bag. By the way, I mentioned this before, but there's a mirror here. So if you're wondering what I keep looking at, it's myself in a mirror. But yeah, I'd like to wear this with my Celine Ava. But I don't have a lot of my handbags here. So this is just what we're dealing with right now. But um, I do think this looks really cute. I mean, it's a very, very, very simple outfit. And I feel like this could be worn so many different ways. But I'm not really going to style all these pieces up entirely. But I'm just going to just give you a rough idea of how they look. But yeah, I did I already mention I'm wearing this jacket in a size medium. I think it fits really nice. It's from Massimo Duty. I will obviously link everything down below, guys. The jacket is gorgeous. It's so nice. Something else I got from Massimo. This was actually in the sale. Feels a little bit small. Maybe it just needs a little bit of a stretch. I got this in a size medium. I think it was like £35. Um, and I just thought it'd be a really just handy little kind of cardigan top thing. I do feel like I'm going a bit over the top with these whole jackets with gold buttons, but I love them and I feel like I'm never going to stop. I mentioned it in my last video, but I just think they look great. Like, I feel like they just look a little bit chicer than a regular cardigan, you know. I'm not sure if this is really doing anything for my figure, you know. I'm quite a boxy, figured person and I feel like it's not really doing a lot. Maybe with cream trousers on. Shall I put a neutral trouser on and see if it looks better? I think you can see my black knickers through these trousers. <laughs> I also got these from Massimo, these white jeans. A little bit big on me though. Very, very, very long. You're not going to be able to see, but looking at them, they're not really doing me any favours. But I feel like this little cardigan thing looks better with sort of a lighter trouser. What do we think? Shall I send this back or shall I keep it? I'm definitely in two minds. I feel like maybe I could wear it undone. I just feel like things like this done up on me just don't look great. Yeah, I feel like Undone definitely looks cuter. I really love the texture of this cardigan. Like, look at the texture of the material. This knitted vest was actually the top I wanted to wear with the suede jacket. So I'm going to put it on with these white jeans and see if the whole look that I envisioned in my head looks nice. Just putting a belt back on. Okay, how do we feel about this? I feel like it doesn't look as good. I was like, maybe I shouldn't wear the belt. Maybe the belt is like too much of a contrast with the rest of the outfit. I don't know what belt I could wear with this instead. Just like a gold one. But this looks very nice. Like the jacket with the white jeans looks really lovely. And like these more like earthy neutral tones. The bag, I feel like the bag is a no. But how do we feel about this? Do we like this? Sometimes you might wonder why I always wear jeans. And I feel like these trousers sum up the reason why like every pair of trouser that's not a jean makes me look like humpty dumpty like why does it just make me look so wide across here i don't know like i love how trousers look on other people but on me they kind of just like accentuate how short my torso is and how wide like my weight i like i just they just don't look right i don't know if you all feel the same but good trousers Something I just really struggle to find. I find so many nice jackets. Like I have a lot of jackets, a lot of coats, but trousers, I guess all our body shapes are different though. So some people probably find that they find lots of trousers and not a lot of jackets because I don't know, you might have the right shape for trousers. But me, I don't know. But now I'm wearing this jacket with these trousers and I'm kind of covering up how they look around my waist. I think this actually looks kind of nice. I mean, it's not very like, it's not like flattering or tight on my figure. I think it looks quite good together. What do we think? Let me know in the comments if this looks terrible or not. In the mirror, I think it looks lovely. This jacket is so nice. I got this from Massimo for duty. I picked it up in a size small. So it definitely sizes big, guys, because I'm usually a size medium. This is a small and um, it's still quite big. Shoes, I'm thinking these may look great or may look terrible. Let's have a look. My Gucci. How do we feel about this? Is it a yes? Is it a no? I mean, it's not really giving summer. It's giving spring though, I guess. Yeah. Can you see me? I don't know if you can see me. Like, 
I don't really, like, the angle of the camera is all off. It's just on for half body, but like, what do you think? I feel like this is giving office chic. It's giving a business meeting, you know? And where am I ever gonna wear this outfit to? The trousers, truthfully, are too big for me. I've just decided the trousers are too big. But, well, this is this is actually a really nice outfit. I actually really like this. But, um, where am I ever gonna wear it to? Do you know what I mean? Like, when, when am I gonna dress like this? Okay, this outfit might confuse you all a little bit. Like, where am I gonna be wearing this? But, I am going away in a couple of months, and instead of leaving everything to the last minute, which is what I usually do, I want to be a little bit more organized. So I'm getting my holiday outfits ready before I go, because it will soon come round. So I picked up this set from Zara, and I thought it'd be really nice for like beach vibes. Very flowy, light, and I really love the colour and the print. I mean, you guys know I don't wear a lot of colour, so green, khaki is a little bit out there. For size reference, I have both the trousers and the shirt on in a size small, and they're both very oversized. Sorry that my camera has moved. I actually just filmed this top, and then I look back at the footage and I actually never pressed record. So I'm gonna do it again really quickly. There's someone at my door and I'm dressed in this t-shirt. Great. Guys, no, I wasn't gonna keep these trousers because they don't fit me properly. The bell just went. I had to run out to the gate and there's a hedge and the hedge <laughs> has got me all dirty. Like, you're, it looks like poo. There's poo on the brand new white trousers. This is the problem with wearing white. Like, I'm not even gonna be able to return these now. Like, I actually cannot believe that just happened. Like, what are the chances of that happening? I'm so fuming. Anyway, I wanted to just quickly show you this outfit. I don't really know if I like this top on my figure, if I'm completely honest. And it's also really annoying. I haven't got a bra on either, so it's kind of making my boobs look a little bit saggy. But yeah, it's like a bit restricting, you know? It kind of comes over your arms. But at the same time, I feel like if you wore your hair up and a nice earring, like these Missouri ones are having right now, I do think... It could look quite chic. I mean, I can't make my mind up if I love it or I hate it. This top does come in all different colors. I think it comes in black as well. And truthfully, these jeans are too big, so it's not really helping how it looks around my waistline, you know? I actually can't believe that's just happened to my trousers. Like, how annoying is that? Also, you can probably see my black knickers. This is probably not a very good look right now. But anyway, something I wanted to quickly show you was this clutch bag. How pretty is this? On one side, it's gold, as you can see. If I flip it round, it's got almost like stones on it, but the stones are plastic, it's not real stones. But yeah, how lovely for holidays. I really, really like this. Anyway, we were actually gonna go to London together today, but because the weather was so rubbish earlier and I thought it was gonna be rubbish for the rest of the day, I've kind of left it too late to go. I mean, I could still go, but I feel like let's just spend the day at home. I've got some parcels to open. I need to clean the kitchen. I need to go and get some dinner. And yeah, I just feel like we can have a nice little afternoon at home and maybe tomorrow or Friday, we can go into London. I actually can't get over this jean. It looks like poo. I love that after all those lovely outfits, I'm actually just gonna put on a tracksuit. I can't wear anything else at home other than things that are comfortable. This is actually from Varley. I have many tracksuits from them now. A grey one, black one, chocolate brown one. This is their new season sage colour, which is very pretty, I have to say. And this is the double soft material, which if you haven't felt it, you're missing out in life because honestly, it feels insane. Like it's so, so, so soft. And I'm someone that's really funny about materials against my skin. Like, don't get me wrong. If I'm going out, I'll kind of put up with a fabric that's like a little bit rough. Like obviously it's not nice, but like I'll just deal with it. But around the house, cannot deal with it. It has to be soft, it has to be comfortable. And Varley Double Soft is the best ever. Anyway, let's go and make some lunch. I'm thinking eggs is probably all that's in the fridge. That's all that's on the menu. Look how long my eyelashes look at the moment, by the way, guys. Can you see? I'm so happy with them. This is UK lash. That is the main thing that makes them so long. Then a heated eyelash curler to make them very curled. Honestly, better than an LVL if you ask me, and it doesn't damage your eyelashes half the amount that chemicals do. And L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Such an oldie, but such a goodie. And I'm really happy with them. I mean, they've gone a little bit flax. I've been pulling clothes over my head a hundred times, but they're so long, so happy. No, I'm sorry, I'm still so pissed about this. Maybe if it dries, 
it will come off. Like, look, what is that? Back in the dining room again, actually, because I'm just looking at this space and the fact that I think I should get a rug. So then I can film like try on hauls and stuff against this wall. And then we'll have like a rug and maybe a mirror. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Probably less is more, but I feel like a rug in here would look kind of nice. And once this is all white, I think it will look great. The only thing I'm worried about though is the fact that will the orange, well it's not orange, but the wooden floor look more orange when the walls are white? Because as you can see, like it's quite orange, isn't it? Does it look worse on camera in real life? Quick update on the blossom tree. I know I've shown you this in every vlog and it's basically my entire personality in spring, but look how cute it looks now. It's really blossomed, but it's also making a very big mess on the grass. I have to say the grass is looking very long. I need to invest in a lawnmower like yesterday. Well, my eggs are boiling and I'm going to open this parcel. The parcel that marked my dreams. I've actually been very excited about this delivery. I ordered it the other night at about one in the morning. It was a very impulse buy. But one of the things, one of the only things so far I miss about living in London is being able to walk to coffee shops within like minutes, you know? And therefore I miss so much drinking matcha. Cause I love a matcha, you know? Even though I have my coffee machine, like I don't know if you can see it, it's in the corner, which I use most days. I just am really missing a matcha. So I ordered the Cloudcha, and matches my outfit, but the Cloudcha matcha kit. And this is actually, this brand is owned by Briny and Rochelle, Rochelle Humes and Pilates by Briny. Lots of you already know her because I've been to many of her sort of group Pilates classes and she's so lovely. But this is their brand because they are like the matcha queens. And I have to say the packaging is so cute. So you have the little bowl you make the matcha in, truthfully have no idea what I'm doing. And you have the brush thing, really technical terms here from me, but this is what I mean by brush thing. I've seen loads of people online doing this, you know, like when you get the matcha and you kind of make it into a paste in the bowl. No idea what I'm doing. I really need to kind of look into that, but it means I can make my matches in the morning from home. Here's the matcha powder. So I'm really happy with that. There's also this little vase, kind of looks like an urn. What is this for? I have no idea. Oh, it's got a hole in it. I really need to look up the instructions. There's also this kind of like spatula thing. Okay, there's this. Looks like a mini golf club. Anyway, like I truly have no idea what I'm doing. Literally all the gear, but no idea. I mean, this really isn't giving. I just realized we don't have any bread. <laughs> so here's my snack, okay? I mean, two eggs, half an avocado and some tomatoes. It was meant to be on toast, but there is no bread. Really need to clear everything up. In the last vlog, do you remember I bought these tulips? And look how beautiful they are. Usually when I get tulips, they kind of like all go kind of sad and like droopy. But these, I think the vase might have helped, but they're so happy. The water really needs to be changed. I have changed it this week, but it needs to be changed again. Speaking of flowers, I need to put these in a vase. Reese got them for me, bless him. Just to say thank you for basically being a good nurse. I didn't even tell you, did I? But I missed last week's vlog. And there was a really good excuse for it. Reese hasn't been very well. He's luckily well on the mend after seeing many doctors go into hospital, all the rest of it, he is on the mend. But that's the reason there wasn't a vlog last week. And I am really sorry. Basically, we just spent the whole weekend trying to get answers and get him better. Um, but bless him, he was the ill one. And yeah, he went to the shops and bought me a bunch of flowers just to say thanks. It is horrible out there today eight degrees and raining again of course it is let's get that heating on anyway today is a new day i left you yesterday because not a lot happened last night i went to waitrose to go and get some dinner we had stir fry prawn stir fry one of my specialities actually although actually tonight i am going to show you what i'm cooking because i have this new dish which i am so good at making it's basically sweet potato mash salmon with a creamy spinach and tomato sauce and then asparagus and broccoli on the side and i make the whole thing honestly i don't even know who i am but i'm actually about to go to denelm ikea and home sense if i can find one because i need to get a set of drawers for one of the bedrooms which i just need to put all of my underwear in currently my underwear is still in a box 
since I moved because I don't have any drawers. I want to go to Denelm to get some new towels because the ones I have aren't really that great. And I still don't have a washing machine. I know. My mum has been doing my washing. And Reese's mum has also been doing some of our washing as well, which <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying, you know. It's so nice not having to do your own washing. But um, I have a bit of a lack of towels because when some of them go to get washed, obviously there's a few days before they come back. So I need to get some towels. I mean, eventually I will get a washing machine, but like everything else, I kind of thought there was no point in getting one until the work has been done. But now I am starting to think like that could be a while and I do need to do my own washing at some point. But for now, I'm happy with the free laundry service that I'm being provided. <laughs> I feel like the roads are gonna be really busy because it's 10 past three and the schools have just finished. Or is it half term? Got myself a trolley, planning on doing a lot of shopping. I always used to love shops like this when I was young. I used to come here with my mum and be like, Mum, please can I get this bedding set? I love it, honestly. Well, this basket is nice. I don't really know what I would use it for, but I feel like I would use it. Maybe a washing basket? It's nice that. Whenever I come places like this, I just forget what I'm actually here for. And I just get like sucked into just wanting everything. Like, should I get some faux flowers? Diffusers? Maybe some faux plants. You know, as I can't keep the plant I've got alive, maybe I should get some fake ones. I forgot how good home shopping was. I'm going a little bit insane. I decided to get some bits for the bathroom. So I've got a stand, lower shelving unit, toilet roll holder. I've got a wok, <laughs> some towels, a cutlery set, pots and pans. I also got this board for a pizza, so that was cute. And record though. This is an old banger. Love Lady Gaga. I am now in Ikea. This is another shop I used to love as a kid. But it was so far away from my parents' house. The nearest one to them was Dartford. But it still is Dartford, which is a mission. So I didn't come here that often, so I felt like when we did, it was a really big deal. This is exciting. I feel like I need a trolley, even though actually that is exactly what I want. How weird. This is the set of drawers that I need. It will fit in my kind of makeshift dressing room and I can put my gym gear and knickers and stuff like that in it because at the moment it's on the floor. So love like all of the fake rooms, you know how they make it look like a real house. You have to think it was so cool. It's so quiet in here today. I don't think I've ever been here when it's this quiet. Wow. Can't believe they even have kitchens and stuff as well. It's actually a really nice sink. Huge. This is a um, really nice sofa. I love my Ikea sofa, you know. I got it when I first moved to London and it was a great buy. But um, this is really nice. I actually really like these dining room chairs. And I really want to get a table, just a temporary table. So when people come round, like my mum and dad, I think I'm having around this weekend, they can actually eat at a table. But the truth is, is I'm not going to want this table once I do the renovations. And it just seems like a waste of money. But it is a massive waste of money. But it is actually a really nice table and chairs. Mm, but each chair is like, okay, each chair is like 100 pounds and then the table is 200 pounds. Tempted to get this for the bathroom, but does it just look really fake? Like this is it here. In the light, it looking very plastic. Look how lovely this whole area looks. Oh, I love this little bed set up. I feel like I should take some inspo for the guest bedroom from this. It's really nice, like, look at that little side table. Cute, I love the whole kind of like rustic look. I even love the mirror over here. It looks so nice. Loving it. Hi guys. How nice are all these lampshades? And they're so affordable as well. Look, this is how they look on. And am I crazy for liking this? Well, I think this looks really cool. How is it not catching on fire though? Because it's paper. See, look, here's the lamps or light shades, whatever you'd like to call them from here. And the big flowers. You're joking. No way. It's four pounds. How is it only four pounds? Now in the basement. I think it's the basement where all of the flat pack furniture is. And I need to find aisle zero two. This is the drawers, but look how cute this lamp is on top. It's only £15. It's really sweet. Look, it's got this little cord. It looks a lot more expensive than £15. I really like that. It's so cute. I'm a strong, independent woman. I can do this. Actually, I could try 
Sorted, got all my stuff and my gorgeous trolley. Look how, listen to how quiet it is in here, like there's no one here. Well, I'm home, cooked dinner. It wasn't the dinner I was meant to make, just because I wanted to make something quick, but we had prawn, spinach, broccoli, tomato, pasta, and it was actually really quite nice. Anyway, I'm going to try and set up the bathroom situation. It's looking a little bit of a mess right now, but we're gonna we're gonna change that. Do you know how much I hate this light? I'm sorry, but how ugly is this? Part of me wants to change it, the other part of me just thinks, what is the point right now? I mean, I will change it eventually, but not today. Anyway, this is the current situation in the bathroom. I don't think you've ever been in this bathroom, have you? I don't think I've ever shown you it. Um, here we are in the main bathroom. <laughs> this is like the sort of what would you call this? This is like the proper house bathroom, like not an ensuite. Um, so there's a bath in here, which is actually a very nice bath. I had my first bath last week and it was really, really lovely. It's got like a really cool tap that comes out like a waterfall. Now something I seem to have forgot whilst we were in Denelm was the layout of this bathroom because I bought a corner sort of unit thing thinking it was going to go right next to the sink, forgetting the toilet is next to the sink. It's really close as well. Why is it so close to the sink? Like, it doesn't even need to be that close. I feel like the layout of this is all a bit weird. Like, anyway, whatever. Um, now I'm wondering if the corner unit is even going to fit in here. Unsure. It's going to be very, very, very tight. I mean, or I could put it here. Once all these towels are moved, please ignore these. They're just dirty and they're just, they're there. But this is the stand I'm talking about this. Do we think it's gonna fit? I've just measured it and I feel like it might just about fit. Well, no update as of yet on the bathroom reveal. I did finish it last night. Can't say it looks amazing, truthfully, but you know, it's a, it's a little bit of an improvement. But this morning is a beautiful sunny day. And I'm actually on the way to my old stomping ground. I'm surprised they haven't sent out a search party for me, to be honest. I'm on the way to Harrods. It's been a while. Haven't been here in at least three weeks. But I got up nice and early this morning and it's currently half past eight and yeah, I'm heading into London. I've got a few shops I wanna to go to. Obviously, as I've just said, Harrods, but I also want to go to Massimo Duty, of course. Um, m and to get lunch for tomorrow because my parents are coming up. It's Easter weekend, by the way. Um, so they're coming up. sun is unmatched but it's a shame it's only sunny three days of the year <laughs> look how cool the Prada billboards look outside of Harrods I haven't seen this whole area so empty I don't think ever to be honest here's the Prada cafe outside of Harrods and here's Harry's as well <laughs> not a soul outside I don't think it's open yet to be honest now we are onto Sloan Street which isn't looking too pretty at the moment because they're digging up half the road they've been doing this for what feels like three years, honestly. Like, can you see the hole in the road? I don't know if you can. Um, but it is still such a beautiful street and I think once they're finished with it, it's going to look lovely. Look at the road. What on earth? Look how beautiful it all looks in the sunshine. It's so nice. And this is where we are going. I'm in Amez. Look at this bag they have on display. It's in the men's section, wow. Look how quiet it is in here. Usually there is queues, okay? I'm so early. Well, first door was a success. Ooh. Well, I've had a very successful morning so far. I went to Hermes. I was like the second person in the store. Just thought I'd edge my bets. I've been after two things and I managed to get both things. Neither of which were a quota bag, but very nice stuff. I've actually now put them into this tote bag because I'm about to go onto the King's Road. We're gonna to go to Massimo Duty and Cos 
and also Marks and Spencers and I don't want to leave this stuff in the car because in London cars are very prone to getting broken into and I'm really paranoid and I just never want to run the risk so they're going in a tote bag and I'm going to carry them around. I also went into Harrods. I didn't actually film that though, although you might have seen a little bit of it, but that was for a TikTok. The problem is, is when I do things, I either have to prioritise like YouTube shorts and TikTok or standard YouTube. So when I'm on my own, it's really hard to do both, but I needed to kind of prioritise the others today. So hopefully you got a little bit of footage, but you probably didn't get loads. I need to put some lip balm on my lips. They are feeling incredibly dry cause was absolutely rubbish let's go into massimo duty didn't even bother filming in cause there's no point these are cute but i feel like they're just gonna hurt your toe you know what i mean i've come to duke york square because there's always a food market here on a saturday and i want the falafels where are the falafels at look at the size of the queue i'm waiting in for the falafel part <laughs> this was an and other stories and now it's the H&M. I didn't even know this. What the hell? Oh my god, they did this so quickly. I swear And Other Stories only shut like a few weeks ago. Oh, they have more. I just saw this set in the window and thought it sold out. But look at this, like it's a skirt with a top. I feel like that would look really nice on. It kind of looks like Valentino. I don't know if any of you saw Valentino, um, the new runway collection. It looks like that. I've just come back to where I used to live to pick up my parcels. So I'm getting a little matcha in the coffee hut that's here. Look how much of a nice day it is. And this is where I used to live, guys. I mean, you kind of saw it, but you didn't really see it at the same time. As you can see, all different buildings here. And yeah, it's been a great place to live. Here's another little tour. You can see the river runs all the way through all of the apartments. My apartment didn't look out onto the river though. But these are very pretty. Down there is the car park where my car rows used to be. I can't get over how nice this weather is, guys. Let's give this matcha a try. Mmm, so good. I had one pump of vanilla in it. I still haven't tried the Cloudcha matcha. It's been a good few days since that got delivered, but I still haven't even made a matcha, which is kind of terrible. Right, where are we going? We're going home. Even though this is kind of home, but it's not home anymore. It used to be home. I have no idea where I left you yesterday. I can't genuinely remember. I think we just picked up my parcels. I actually ended up coming home, going back to London with Reese. We had lunch, had a little mooch about, came home, and we have been cleaning and painting. Well, I've not really been painting. Reese has been painting, Reese's dad has been painting. I've been cleaning basically since last night pretty much and my parents are about to arrive. It's Sunday, it's actually Easter Sunday. I had a bit of a nightmare last night, okay? So I went to every single supermarket going, I'm not exaggerating, Asda, Audi, Morrisons, Tesco's times three, M&S times two, no, times three actually, even Tesco extras, looking for stuff to cook a roast dinner. I didn't realize that at 7 p.m. on Saturday, every store would be sold out of basically all of the ingredients to cook a roast dinner. Honestly, it's been a slightly stressful because I have not a single ounce of food in my house. Well, I didn't, this is stuff I bought. Um, so it was like, my mum and dad are gonna come, the nowhere is open, everywhere is booked up for lunch and I have no food. So anyway, I've kind of mustered up some form of dinner. I mean, to start we're having like anti-pasty. Is that random? Ahead of a Sunday lunch? I don't really know. But last time I did prawn cocktail and I just feel like, let's mix it up. And then we're having pie with veg. Oh, why has my candle gone out on one side? By the way, these Diptyque candles, I know they're expensive, like they really are expensive, but they smell incredible. Like the scent of this candle fills the whole house. Like it just smells so good. I just moved you slightly so you can see what I'm doing. Truthfully, I don't even know what I'm doing myself. masterpiece that I've put together. Something you should know about me is I am very sarcastic. 
So when I call this a masterpiece, I am very much joking. Like I didn't even have enough dishes to put the sauces in. So like, this is just what we're doing. But it's just a little picky something before we have main course. By the way, you might, this is really random, these gherkins, but my dad loves a gherkin, okay? He also loves a pretzel. So I've definitely catered my dad here. Manchego with the ham as well. This is basically all for my dad. I just remembered I have an update for you. I mean, it's very exciting. I know, like, you're just not going to get over how exciting the update is. But the room is all painted. Ignore that up there. <laughs> that just needs to be boxed in and then the tape needs to be taken away. But it's all painted. Dad's, dad? Sorry, Reese's dad does such a good job. And honestly, I'm so thankful um, that he did it. Yeah, it's looking so much. It was already a bright room, to be fair. It's looking so much brighter, so much fresher. And the floor, I was worried the floor was gonna look really orange against the white walls, but I actually think it looks better, weirdly. My plant, have I showed you him this vlog? Still struggling, guys, very much. I'm going to cut the leaves off, all of the dead ones, because look, there's a new leaf here. So I think he's still, like, he could possibly thrive, but yeah, he looks worse than in the last vlog, put it that way. And if we go upstairs, Oh, got the tunes on. Here is Reese. Do you want to say hi to everyone, Reese? You're doing a great job, sweetie. And I also have a little update on my makeshift dressing room. So, do you remember I had these shelving units in my apartment, and it just so happens they fit perfectly in this gap just here? Like, I just tried it thinking it was never gonna fit, and it did, like a glove. So I'm actually using this more as like a clothing storage area because I don't have, well I have one set of drawers, that's it, other than that I have rails. And things like t-shirts, jeans, they're just so easy to store in here. I also laid out some of my costume jewelry over here. And then I have all of my perfumes. Actually this isn't all of my perfumes, but it is most of them. Um, yeah, some of my faves. Perfumes de Mali, you all know how much I love that. I also am really, really, really loving this one from Tom Ford. In my last vlog, you'll see my dad tried it, but since then I've worn it and it smells unreal. Mason Margiela, Killian. This is actually one of my favorite Killian perfumes. Angel Share, love this as an evening scent. And over here is the beautiful set of drawers that, well, I'm not gonna take credit. Reese definitely built these on his own. I sat by, and passed him the screwdriver and things like that. I was the assistant in the job. Truthfully, flat pack furniture and instructions and things like that do not go hand in hand with me. I can't do it at all. But this is very good. So we've just got my underwear, gym wear and things like that in these drawers. And do you know what? Ikea is just such great value for money. Like these are an absolute bargain. It's great for what I need it for. I also got this, it's pretty ugly, isn't it? But I got this sunglass stand from Amazon. It looks very cheap, I can't lie, but it is a great way to display your sunglasses. But yeah, it's very plasticky. And then over here, we just have some rails, but I have actually bought one big long rail that's six foot. So I'm gonna replace these two with one rail, just cause I think it will look a little bit nicer, a little bit neater. Um, and the one of this rail, can you see that one there? It's bending a little bit, it's not so strong. So I've got a stronger one to replace this. But this is the most that's happening in this room. Like I'm just, as I say, making do for now. We're not even gonna bother painting this room either. Um, I kind of wish we did, but anyway, I just can't bother to take all the stuff out now. Like it is what it is. And this will eventually, I think, if all plans go to plan, will become the master bedroom. Um, because I've already told you guys, there's a door through here that's being knocked through and all the rest of it. That is my parents. Here they are, parents have arrived and mum is popping bottles. Oh shit! Look up! Big bear! Hole in the ceiling! <laughs> God, that went with that a pop, didn't That was crazy! It? The good news is that we didn't, we didn't <laughs> spin the drop. Why? How did that go like that? Do you think it's because you put it in the freezer? Well, just oh, one of those things. They do do it. Bullet. Usually you um, lose the load when you do that, so I'm delighted to say didn't lose a drop. No, nothing. I'm a professional. Peter? Very nice. Thank you very much indeed. A glass of champagne? Thank you. Uh, is that to everybody? Happy Easter, everyone. I'm sure you have a... Uh, Freya, you've got the ugly filter on, I hope. <laughs> it's oh, very what? important because... I'm quite good looking really. It doesn't even one. really make any sense. Are you trying to say that we put an ugly filter on you on the vlog? Really in real life you look like Brad Pitt. Exactly. <laughs> and it works actually. I'm quite surprised actually. It does work. Happy Easter everyone. This is the 
forerunner to a beautiful summer. Hopefully we'll have one. <clears throat> I'm sure we will. Summer's what you make it anyway. And there's no better than the summer in England. I love our four seasons. <laughs> Do you? Cheers you don't everyone. like the winter, so that's a complete no, lie. No, but I just like... I like the change. I like to see the change and everything. Yeah. The fall and all the rest of it. But there, we've got something to look forward to. Cheers. Happy summer. I very rarely ever show you PR packages because, I don't know, it's just not really like my thing. But I can't not show you this because look how incredible this is. Lemur, still not over the fact Lemur, even know who I am, but Lemur sent me this and it's all different jars, which as you can see are labelled and inside all different ingredients. So, got organic coconut chips, mulberries, peppermint tea, my favourite, I need to get a tea strainer. Like it even comes with like a little scoop, dried lime slices, and there is also a La Meur moisturising cream in here, and a little book to write your recipes in. Honestly, what a lovely PR gift this is. So nice of them. Dinner is served. <laughs> How's it going, Lynn? I mean, lovely, I love this. <laughs> Good morning. I was up until half two in the morning last night editing this vlog because today's Monday, but it's like holiday Monday. I want this vlog to go live, but I also want to be able to enjoy my day. So I stayed up till very late getting this vlog edited. Hopefully I can get it uploaded this morning. And a lot of you will be watching this video tonight. But before I wrapped it up, I wanted just to quickly unbox with you what I got from Hermes because there's nothing more annoying than watching a video where someone buys something and then they don't unbox it. I have been guilty of it many times before, but in this video, we're gonna do the unboxing and the shopping part all in one. I've just lowered you down a little bit. I'm sorry this room isn't really giving, like the background, what is going on? We've just got an empty clothing rail, but this room is actually full of clothes day before yesterday. I know I've managed to put everything away because this is one of the bedrooms that is going to have a bed, a spare bed put in it, and I'm gonna order the bed this week. That is on my to-do list. I need to order two beds, all of the bedding, all of the stuff for this room. So that will happen in the next video. But to end this one, let me show you everything I got from my mares. I'm going to start with this one because, as you can see, it's already open. I have already worn this. I wore it the day that I got it because, well, I couldn't wait. I've had this outfit in my head for such a long time. And as soon as I got this belt, best believe the outfit was worn. So this is the Hermes Kelly belt. You guys might know I already have it in black and I already have it in a two, which I know seems a little bit excessive to have three belts in three different colors. But I am so typically that person where if I like something, I am going to buy it in another color. And that's exactly what I did with this. I just feel like these belts go with everything. I love the fact they're adjustable. I'm sorry I've told you about this so many times. If you've watched this before, please like forgive me repeating myself, but just in case you've never seen these belts before, unlike a traditional belt that usually has holes in it, the Kelly belts are adjustable just by pulling the back of them. So you can make them as big or as small as you'd like, which means you can wear them around your waist, you can wear it around your hips, you could wear it around your head, around your ankle, however you'd like to wear your belt. And they're just so handy. I also love how simple the design is, like very understated. And as you guys know, I'm a huge lover of Hermes bags and I'm a very matchy matchy person. I love to match my belts with my bags and things like that. And so obviously my black Kelly belt matches my black Birkin. My Atoupe Kelly belt matches my Atoupe Birkin. And my gold Kelly belt matches my Hermes Picatin. So hopefully at some point it might match a gold Birkin or a gold Kelly. Both on my wish list, you never know it might happen. These belts are actually quite hard to get hold of. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not hard like Birkins and Kelly's are hard to get hold of. But, you know, they don't seem to have huge amounts of stock. You can kind of just get lucky with them. You can sometimes see them in stock online, but I feel like that is pretty rare. But I've been into the Hermes boutique, which I shop in in London, a number of times asking for this belt and it's never in stock. It's usually with rose gold hardware. So I always love to go yellow gold because all of my jewelry is yellow gold, but they often have rose gold. I personally don't dislike rose gold, but I prefer yellow gold. So I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna hold out and eventually I'll be able to get it. And I just happened to be really lucky the other day and they had the exact one that I wanted. So as you can see there, it's yellow gold with the Hermes gold color leather, which is basically a tan with the white stitching on it as well. Very simple, but I know it's something I'm gonna get so much wear out of, especially going into spring, summer. I mean, how nice, like a tan accessories with let's say a white shirt, 
blue denim jeans, a tan belt, tan sandals and a matching bag. In my opinion, there's nothing better than that combination in the warmer months. That was my first buy. And then my next buy came in this box and I'd love to be telling you it's a mini Kelly. I mean, imagine, imagine being able to walk into the store and coming away with a mini Kelly. One day, it's gonna happen. But in here are actually a pair of shoes, which I kind of say this about everything, like I've been after this, but I really have been after these. I have them in a fair few colors already and they're not orange. So, guess again. But these are the very sought after Shipri sandals in the white with the black sole. But as some of you will already know, I already have these in black. They were my first ever pair. And I also have them in a tan color, which I got actually around this time last year when I went to Paris and I got my black Birkin. I actually cannot believe that was nearly a year ago. Like where has this last year gone? Like I don't even know. But I love these sandals. I have found they're not the most comfortable for the first three to five wears. They rub me a little bit, but once you break them in, they're so comfy. I think they're really cool. And I just really wanted them in white. I feel like if I could get them in beige, they do a beige kind of suede, I would love that. But I do think, I mean, never say never, but I do think these will be my last pair unless I can get the beige ones. I've kind of got all the colors that I'd want. These are another thing that are very hard to get hold of, although they definitely have more stock at the moment. They also had black in my size as well, but obviously I already had them. But last summer, you really could barely get them in any stores. I know that like lots of my friends had to get them through personal shoppers and things like that. So I do think they are a little bit easier to get hold of. So if you want them, my advice to you would be to go to London and just go around all of the different Hermes boutiques and see if they have your size. For size reference, I always got one whole size in these. They size pretty small. So I'm usually a size 37, which is a UK four, and I go up to a 38, which is a UK five. I have to say, I also saw another pair of Hermes sandals in there, which I'll insert a photo of them. I don't know the names of these, I'm going to be honest. I feel like I've become like an Hermes expert, which is really sad, I know, but like, I just really know all of the colors. I know all of my stuff. Like, I feel like if I took a degree on Hermes, I would honestly get an A star. However, I don't know the name of these sandals, which would probably put me down to an A, but um, they're really lovely. But I put them on my stories um, on Instagram and a few people said how ugly they were. So I was kind of shocked at that, but I thought the khaki color was beautiful. And something I love about them is they don't have any logos on them. They're kind of like, if you know, you know, kind of vibe. Um, so I don't know, I feel like though I have a lot of sandals, like truthfully, I don't really need any more. But you could say the same about everything, couldn't you? You could say the same thing about jewellery. You could say the same thing about handbags, clothes. But I'm always going to buy more. But I have so many bags on my Emma's wish list at the moment. I mean, I always do. I feel like the wish list is never ending. And something I haven't filmed this year is a new wish list video. I think because I moved, my wish list was kind of like the last thing on my mind. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've always got something written out on my notes of all of the things that I'd like, but I just didn't really have like the brain capacity to be like talking about it. But yeah, I have a fair few Hermes bags on my wish list and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, praying to the Hermes gods, that I get lucky in the next few months. It's nearly my birthday, so that's a pretty good excuse for a new bag. But I'm so happy with the bits that I picked up the other day. And something I've actually been doing in the last year when I'm in the UK is shopping in one Hermes boutique. I used to kind of like jump around a little bit, but now I just tend to shop in one boutique and I feel like my shopping experience is so much nicer. I feel like all the staff in there are so friendly. I've made a few relationships with some really lovely ladies in there who I just kind of like chat to about handbags and fashion and it just feels like I'm shopping with my friends. Like honestly, such a lovely experience. And it was so nice picking these bits up. Well, I think it's about time I wrap this video up because I think it's gonna be almost an hour long, which is kind of insane. But I need to edit this part in, press upload, and hopefully most of you will be watching this video tonight. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you don't already, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and all of those good things. I love you all very much. Have a wonderful week, and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Goodbye, guys.